Hey guys, it's Serene, and um, also it's raining outside, so uh, you're gonna hear that. Um, so for my birthday a few days ago, my friend got me the, this pack of Copic sketch markers and this like tri blend by Spectrum Noir, and I am so excited. Like I have never used alcohol markers before, and it's just I am just <laughs> I'm in love, honestly. I, I can't wait to use them. The only markers I've ever used are like water based like these Tombows but they're not really, I don't know, I've never personally been able to blend them the way that I've seen people blend the markers and so for me it just, it didn't really work out very much, you know? So I am just, I am so excited to try these out. So as you can see, I already like, when she gave them to me, she also gave me this sketchbook and I went ahead and like swatched them and everything and like kind of tried to blend them um, and that's just because I was like too excited to wait to get home and use like actual marker paper but um yeah I think the colors look really pretty and and I have like skin colors so I can draw a person so I'm so excited um, they did bleed through to the next page but they didn't this is this is um mixed media so it's not like marker marker paper but um they didn't bleed on so I think I'm gonna use this page to kind of sketch some ideas on and then um, I can transfer it to marker paper um, I did actually already test marker paper because I didn't know my friend gave me some a while ago um, yeah so I tested to see if it was like she didn't remember if it was marker paper or not she's like I think it is so I tested it to make sure markers actually worked on it and while it like bled through it didn't like go through the back or anything and um yeah so I did draw a little drawing at first disclaimer sorry but yeah I haven't actually tried like a full on drawing with all the colors so uh yeah let's uh let's get started. <laughs> Hey, voiceover Serene here. So as you can see, the first thing I do is I kind of sketch out like a character or whatever. Um, so I don't really like the face at first, which is why I end up redoing it later and doing it bigger. But I kind of had the idea of doing this like nature goddess or something along those lines because the colors I got were like greens and browns and blues. So I go ahead and do that. And I start out with, um, I do a sketch on the bigger marker paper and I start out with a base coat because I found when I did the test sketch that the Spectrum Noir markers really don't work well with any sort of like micron pen they tend to bleed those out so I went ahead and did the skin colors and um yeah you can see um I also found out that the marker paper was really thin um so you could see through it way too well to my desk which was really dark beneath so I ended up putting another piece of paper under but it doesn't bleed through which is awesome the paper is really good but like as you can see the blending was really smooth like all I did was put down a base coat and then I put down the mid-tone and then the dark tone over that and then I put the light coat again on top of it and it blended out like really well. And this wasn't even the coping markers at this point. So like I I really love using the alcohol markers. I think they look so good. But like this like this wasn't even the the heavy duty. This was just the starter. So after that, I actually end up lining everything with the Micron pen, and half the video cut out because my phone decided to die, and I didn't realize it, so sorry about that, but I got the important details in, and yeah, after I did the, um, the lining, I went ahead and went with the Copics, because I found as long as I didn't overwork the Copics on them, um, the, the paper didn't, it didn't bleed, like, at all, which was amazing. So, uh, yeah, after that, I start with the hair since it's kind of the biggest part and kind of the thing that I'm, I knew I was confident with, with drawing and, um, yeah, I've just, I've got to say they went on really well. Like they went on like one, the base coat looked really smooth, even though I didn't really layer it all that much or like I didn't have to work to make it look smooth. It just did. And I really I really love doing this like yeah it was just it was a lot of fun I was enjoying myself um 
it's kind of something that I didn't think that you could actually do. I didn't think you could actually get like a base coat to look that smooth. I thought it was just a myth or something Photoshop. But nope. Nope. I thought I, you know, like I thought it was like me whenever I couldn't get my water-based markers to do that. But no, it was just, it's something that the alcohol markers can do. And I just, like, man, I really loved using these. So as you can see, after I finished using the, um, doing the base coat, I started with the darker brown marker because I kind of, I got two of each marker. I got, uh, in the pack came a lighter green and a darker green, a lighter blue and a darker blue and a lighter brown and a darker brown. So I went ahead and picked up that darker brown, um, as you can see, and I used the brush, the brush tip end and I just kind of made like strokes for hair and like where the shadows would be. And then after that, I actually ended up getting the darker blue. And I did that where there, I wanted there to be even more shadows, you know, because I figured it would make like a, just give it more dimension, give it more tone, which is what I was going for. I didn't want it to just look kind of flat. Um, and I feel like that works pretty well. Um, and after that, like... I just went over again with the lighter color and it just, it blended out really well. Like, honestly, I was, I was shocked. I was like, I was drawing it. I was like, this looks so good. <laughs> I, like, you can see it, um, right now. And like, it just, I think it, it was, I think it just looked really cool. And I didn't, you know, I just wasn't expecting it to look like that or like to be that easy to blend it out. Because, again, I've only, I've only, uh, I've only ever used water-based markers, so I guess, I guess it was just, it was different. It was a, it was just a new medium to work with, and I really enjoyed it. So after that, of course, I filled in her dress, which was the next biggest part. And I did that with the green, because I wanted the, like, plant goddess side of it to come out, you know. Um, and, Yeah. This one I actually struggled on a little bit more, but that's because it's kind of different from hair, and I tried to make it smoother um, than the hair was. I wanted it to be more of that seamless transition, which um, I didn't get it perfect, but that's okay because I'm still learning, you know? It's just part of it. Um, but yeah, even with me not getting it perfect, it still looked really good, and it was way better than what like I would have expected. But yeah, as you can see, I grabbed that darker green. Well, I'm so unpredictable because clearly, clearly you couldn't tell which one I was going to go for next. Like, I'm just keeping y'all on edge here. Just kidding. And then, yeah, I just worked on blending that back through. Um, I don't think, I kind of added some strokes and I think I shouldn't have, but that's okay. So, yeah, if you have any tips for getting, like, a smoother blend, then, like, please tell me. I could, I could, de I'd love the help. Yeah, and after that, so, like, after I grabbed the green, I grabbed the blue again, thought it could make a little bit darker of a shade, and it did, and then I went over it with the light green again, just to get that smoother blend. And, yeah, um, it wasn't quite perfect here, and I did actually later end up going and doing it off camera, so you'll see that in the end. But, um, yeah, even without it, I still think it looks, like, pretty good for, like, my first time. And it was definitely a lot different from what I was expecting. And after that, obviously, I did her little flower crown. And here, the Copics kind of bled a bit. But I think that's just because I put so much down in one area. And then I covered it with a light color. But once I put in the shadows, it really wasn't that noticeable that it had bled. And, um, yeah. That's about all I did in this video. Oh, I ended up doing, like, I went over her face a little bit with, um, with the brown, like, over her lips and where the main shadow was, and then I colored over that, blended that out. Um, cause, um, yeah, sorry. Uh, my friends keep calling me out for saying um a lot, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Okay. I don't plan out what I'm going to say ahead because if I read off of things, it sounds fake and it doesn't sound good. So I just have to wing it. Anyway, next I put on the, I used the white uh, jelly roll, the Secura pins. You can get them from like Hobby Lobby for like $3 for a pack. I don't know. 
But yeah, just I just did that for little highlights, just kind of tie the piece together, you know, give it a little, give it a little happy ending, make it pop out, make it seem more 3D. And that's about all I did. But yeah, I really, really loved using these markers. And if you can get your hands on a set, I would definitely recommend it. They were so nice. I I love them. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to be using them more in the future. So uh, yeah, thank you so much to my friend uh, Scrub Muffin the Third. She told me I couldn't use her real name and I could just call her whatever I want. So because she gave me that power... Um, I took advantage of it. I'm sorry, but thank you so much. You know who you are, and I, I love you, okay? I love you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you got what you wanted out of this video, Just watching a random chick on the internet try out Copic markers, but, uh, yeah. Um, well, that's about all I have to say, so... So, uh, see ya.